Hey guys, welcome to another Drew's Reviews. Coming at you today with the Whistle Dog back from a and You can see the a and in the background there. I pointed in the wrong direction, but anyway, it's there on this side of the screen. There you go. Um, so yeah, Whistle Dog used to be really popular. I guess they got rid of it about five years ago. Um, I feel like it's been longer than that, but it was also different when I was a kid. I remember it being on like a seated bun and it was kind of like a sandwich. Um, and definitely didn't cost eight oh four with tax. There's the receipt, guys. Take a look at that. Eight oh four for one hot dog. Now the first question is going to be, how big is it? Let's take a look. It's not a foot long hot dog, which I think they used to be bigger. I mean, this is this is sad looking, guys. This is a sad looking hot dog. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I expect it more, but. I'm getting relish all over me. So, I mean, this bun's not even connected, and there's the bacon and the cheese. Let's give it a try. Also, look at the size of this bag. This makes you think the dog's going to be a lot bigger. Here's the actual size of the dog compared to the bag. All right, enough complaining. Let's try it. Hmm. The relish is messy. Not really adding a whole lot of flavor. Hmm. I've got some car ketchup. I'm gonna give this a try. It's definitely lacking. All right, a little bit of car ketchup. There we go. There we go. Hmm. I'm going to say underwhelmed and underimpressed. Um, I was pondering doing something from Papa John's. They have new spicy pepperoni rolls with like a spicy garlic dip. Really wish I had done that because this was a waste of eight bucks. Go to Circle K, get two hot dogs and a pop for I think $5.75. This isn't worth it, guys. Two out of ten. That's it for today. See you in the next one.